Yeah, Casablanca sure is peaceful. Oh, well, I better make our report. Marineville from Stingray. Routine report. Over. Stingray, come in. Come in. We'll be leaving Casablanca in about two hours from then on our return journey home. How are you enjoying your shore leaves? Oh, great. Say, I bought you a souvenir. A real cute little hat. <laughs> Oink's wearing his right now. Why, thanks, Bones. Can I have a word with Troy? Hello, Phones. Did you hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard. Well, is he there? Well, uh, no. Uh, he, uh, he's ashore with Marina. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, it doesn't matter. I was just going to remind him about our date tomorrow. Okay, Atlanta, I'll... Hello? Uh, hello, Atlanta. She's gone. Women. Okay, Marina. You like it here? Good. Too bad phones couldn't make it. But someone's got to hold the fort on Stingray. Ship you've got here, a fine ship, sir. Well, you can't come aboard here. You, you... Ah, no. If I had a ship like this here, you know what I'd be doing here. I'd be going after the treasure, sir. Well, you'd better leave before Captain Temp. Treasure? D did you say treasure? That's what I said, lad. Arr, I'd be the only one as knows where it lies, sir. It was me grandfather that sailed aboard the old freighted Silver Swan. Who learned the secret. Only one to be saved he was. He knew the spot it sank, sir. And uh, you know this spot, do you? Aye, that I do, lad, that I do. Marked on a sea chart that I carry next to me heart. Er, of course, I'm a bit old to be going after it myself. But if a young'un like you is to offer me $500 for this here sea chart. $500? Ah, you're right, lad. I'd be foolish to part with it for such a paltry sum. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Don't you go. You got $500 then, sir. Just 200 Good night to you, lad. Tis a pity. But, but I know where I can get the rest. $300? What for? Well, I'll tell you later, Troy. Uh, honest, I will. 300 bucks? Are you crazy? Yeah, but I... No buts. I'll just beat it back to Stingray, will you? You know better than to leave the ship. Yeah, but it's my shore leave too, Skipper. Okay, phones. That's enough. By the way, Troy, I, I almost forgot. Atlanta had a message for you uh, about your date with her when you get back to Marineville. Okay, okay, you win. Here's the dough. Gee, thanks, Troy. I'll see you later. Marina? Marina? Oh, heck, now she's mad at me. A great evening this turned out to be. Women. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 dollars. Ah, thank you kindly. And this here sea chart, it be yours, sir. A bon voyage. Oh, that's what I wish you, lad. A bon voyage. <laughs> But, Troy, he heard this from his own grandfather. Bones, I am in no mood for jokes. Why don't you just admit you've been taken for a ride? Huh, <laughs> treasure. Well, at least we could go and take a look. Oh, it isn't so far out of our way. You've got a nerve. What makes you think I'd do you a favor? You ruined my evening, blackmail me into loaning your dough, and now you want me to break regulations. No, sir. I'm going to turn in. And don't let me hear any more of this crazy scheme. Boy, I've really messed things up. I'm sorry, Marina, if I upset you. Will you forgive me? Gee, if I could only prove that there was some treasure, I guess Troy would forgive me, too. Still, what's the use? I guess you can't help me, Marina. You got enough of your own problems. I might as well turn in myself. <laughs> 